McGrath with it. Off the wing, it's Pierce short. And Rhode Island has the ball. Preston Murphy is fouled. 25 seconds left, and Rhode Island, the eighth seed, leads the number one seed by five. We welcome those of you that have watched UCLA knock out Michigan. It has been an incredible day in Oklahoma City. The 13th seed, Valparaiso, is in the Sweet 16. And now, Roy Williams' Kansas team is on the brink. Rhode Island has had an incredible second half. Justin Murphy in the line to shoot two. Jim Harris, who's been through this at UCLA, was out of coaching last year. He was covering the Final Four for television last year. And now, he's 20 for getting his team a decided underdog here into the Sweet 16, where he can match up against his, his old or his youngest son, Jim Jr., who's an assistant coach at Valpo. And if he feels that he can taste it right now, the players are coming through for Rhode Island. Seven-point Rhode Island lead. Robertson, Thomas. Inside Lester Earl, and Kansas will stop it with 15.5. Rhode Island will have the ball. A five-point lead, 15.5 to go. Here He is an assistant coach at Valparaiso. He played for his dad at Pepperdine. His dad watched Valparaiso in a remarkable win earlier today, and now Junior is sweating it out as Rhode Island leads by five. They break a man long. It's Mobley with the catch, and Mobley is fouled. The best foul shooter for Rhode Island will go to the line with 13.4 to go. Jim Herrick, in the first round, coached against Murray State's Mark Godfrey, someone he said is as close as his son. He may coach against his son in St. Louis next Friday. The entire Herrick family is here this weekend. Three grandkids, three sons. Mobley, an 86% foul shooter. A tremendous game by Mobley, also the guards of Rhode Island, keeping this team in this game throughout the second half and throughout the game. Rhode Island has scored 51 points in the second half. I didn't think anybody would do that against Kansas. The entire game consistently was the mode of the play today. And that's the big one, a three-possession game. 13 seconds. Robertson, Pierce, wide left, time running out on the number one seed. The French with a tip and a timeout Kansas, but it is too little, too late. With 1.1 to go, Jim Herrick is going to do it, and the number one seed will be out. Incredible. You could not ever have dreamt of this trip. Valparaiso and Rhode Island to come out of this region. Look at that. That is incredible. Coming up next, Kathleen Wiley tells for the first time what happened in the Oval Office. 60 minutes coming up right after this, except on the West Coast. This has been one of the great weekends of March Madness you could ever hope for in Oklahoma City. The 13th seed, Valparaiso. And now it is Rhode Island has stunned the number one seed. <laughs> Roy Williams has to be shattered. And the dance for Rhode Island. Paul Pierce, an All-American, played his heart out. But now it's Rhode Island taking a page for Prairie View with the mid-court dance. Tremendous play for them, and they deserve it well because they played a strong game from start to finish. Roy Williams falls short again. The great career of Ray of Friends has come to a close, and for Rhode Island, there's another day. The great senior backboard for Rhode Island.